I'm so glad I caught you. I need to ask a massive favor. Sure. I need $500. Uh, well, isn't that something you can ask Charlie for? Well, the thing is, I'm supposed to pay rent today, but when I went to get it, the ATM ate my card. All oh, right. Well, I'm sure Charlie will understand that. Well, she's kind of got her hands full with the whole drugs at school thing. If you could just loan me the cash today, we'll sort it out with Charlie tomorrow. I promise. Yeah, okay. Might have known I'd find you hiding down here like a coward. What do you want? I'm probably a sucker for even considering giving you a way out of this. But I'm here to make a deal. <laughs> what makes you think you're in a position to deal? Okay, you're the one who's been dealing drugs at school. You stole a boat, could have killed Hugo. And I know for a fact that the cops are really keen to talk to you. I care about Xavier and I don't want him getting hurt. Yeah, and I know that he's planning on meeting your dealer and probably prepared to get his head kicked in for you. Fine. Spit it out then. What's the plan? If I give you the money to get the dealer off your back, you get out of the bay and out of Xavier's life for good. You keep saying you love Xavier. If you do, then take the deal and do what you know is best for him. Val, I'm going to have to drop some things over to the diner soon. Maybe you should come with me. You don't want the kids to find you here. I'm guessing they'll be home pretty soon. OK, I'll come. I'll just wait in the car or something. Lover, why don't you just go and talk to Miles? Once he knows that Ollie's missing, he's going to want to help you find him. I can't do that, Irene. You heard what he said. He said that he wants to move on. Yeah, even so, he cares about you, doll, and he utterly adores Ollie. Kane! Oh, thank God. OK, can you please just tell me where you are? We can sort this out, babe. No, Kane, I'm not with Miles, I promise. I'm actually with Irene. Do you want to ask her? He will listen. He just hung up. He said that he's sure that I'm with Miles, Irene. He's not going to bring Ollie back now. What do I want to do? So, you were lucky to get away unharmed last night. Well, I don't feel that lucky. I didn't even know I was in danger. So the first rule of diving always to have a buddy with you? You angling for an invite next time we go out? Uh, yeah, you could always give me a call. I haven't been out for a while. Guys, hey. Listen, I'm doing my report on the accident last night. I was hoping you could show me the damage to the boat. Um, yeah, sure. But there's not really much to see. A couple of scrapes. I've already replaced the boat lights. Right, so the lights did get broken in the crash. Yeah, that's why the kids didn't see the lights were off, so... Do you want to go down the wharf and check it out? Yeah, that'd be good, thanks. Oh. Hey, uh, Charlie, did you speak to Ruby this morning about the money? What money? Uh, the money I lent her for the rent. The ATM made her card. Gave her 500 bucks. Oh, I thought that was a little strange. Yeah, it's fine. Look, I'll get your money back. There you are. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Well, you need to go. No, relax, OK? I know what you're doing here, but there's no need. I've sorted everything out with Freya. The dealer's been paid, so he won't be showing up. What? Then why is he walking straight towards us? I don't know, Fresh should have given him the money. Well, please, just go, OK? It'll make things worse. I want my money, OK? I don't care if it comes from you or her. Just hand it over and we can get out of here. We yeah? need a bit more time to get it together, OK? I don't know what happened for me. Get my cash. Go. No, I don't think he needs to come in. I'll patch him up. Yeah, thanks for that. 
I'll make sure we get our own for home from now on. Cheers. See ya. Let's have a look. Yeah, he really got your beauty, didn't he? Looks like you're the punching bag this time, eh? Mate, I admire you for sticking up for your girlfriend. But when are you going to get the message? Mum warned you about Freya, as have I, Charlie, Ruby. I know. Mate, she could have got you killed this time. If not today, then last night, you'd clean yourself up. Why didn't you ask me for the money? That's why I was down at the pier last night. If you'd been where you said you'd be, none of this would have happened. Hey, don't bring this back on me, all right? Look, I know you and Freya have a laugh. You think you're good together most of the time. But when your girlfriend gets you mixed up in drugs and hassles with the cops... I get it, OK? She's bad for me. Do we have to keep going on and on about it? All right. Hey. You OK? I'll leave. I found this under the front door at home. It's for you. Hey, babe. I have to skip out of your life for a while. Sorry about the mess, but I'll make it up to you one day. You rock my world and always will. Love, Freya. Rubes, I know you're only trying to do the right thing. But Xavier's old enough to make his own choices. And if he keeps making the wrong ones? I used to feel that way about you sometimes. Seeing you make the wrong call nearly killed me. Remember when you brought Pat into town? Saying that he was going to move here? OK, Charlie, Pat was different. He really cared about me and he only broke it off and left town because he thought it was best for me. But I get what you mean. Freya's taken off, in case you're still looking for her. So you saw her again? No. She left me a note. Nice, huh? Thanks for standing by me. I didn't deserve that. I finally get what you've been saying about Freya and me. I'll pay you back the cash too, out of my pay. Thanks. Xavier? If that's all it costs to get her out of your life, then it was worth it. And away. It's my grandma I'm thinking about. I feel like I don't know her and I'm never going to get the chance. Well, I just thought it would be good for me and Kirsty to have a chat. She doesn't want to see you or talk to you either. There's a side to her you haven't seen and frankly, I hope you never do. Please don't bring her down. She's a difficult and self-centred woman. She's really made an effort to change, I think. You know I love him, but he's driving me insane. What do you mean I'm getting on your nerves? Just like you're getting on mum's nerves. Please, come on, you need to put things right, whatever it takes. Don't take no for an answer.